Good afternoon. What up, though, guys? It is your girl, Jaja, and you are listening to Yeah, I Said It, reporting live. It's your girl, Jaja, and you are listening to Yeah, I Said It, and y'all already know before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it, and I know y'all heard me the first time. Listen, guys, um, it is such a amazing, beautiful, awesome day. I know the cold... Uh, shocked y'all, surprised you, and it threw you off course. But isn't it a blessing to feel the cold and not be cold? Because you could be dead in your grave, you could be in the hospital, and you could be um, in somebody's jail. And let me tell you something, one thing's for sure, two things for certain, jail is not warm, it is very cold. And they give you this thin little sheet and a couple of, uh, maybe a blanket, and they don't give you a pillow. And you better hope you get something to eat. So if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. Listen, I'm your girl, Jaja, And we're talking all about stay aligned with the elements. You know, one of the things that um, I remember growing up is just paying attention to how the the planet worked. You know, with the, with the stars and the moon and the sky. And, you know, how... They talked about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. They talked about the mind, the body, and the soul. How so many things work together when they are aligned. But when things are off track, the result of it is being off track as well. If you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It. I'm your girl, Jaja. Listen, I am currently at school using Nate office, and I got to do what I got to do, y'all. You feel me? That's what you call innovation. But at the end of the day, listen, it's your girl, Jaja, and you are listening to Yeah, I Said It. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. We're talking about staying aligned with the elements. So look, when you're staying in constant contact with the elements, We also are aware that seasons change. There are seasons where you are totally in love with people. And then there are seasons where you can't even stand them. You like, who are you? How did you get like this? And then there are seasons where you change, where where you once loved the thing no longer bothers you, it no longer suits you. And you wonder, I used to like this, how? And then your taste for things change, especially as you get exposed to more things in life. If you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It, and before I take it back, y'all already know I'm going to add more to it. But I, I thought about how amazing God is to have these elements like the earth, the wind, the fire, the water. Where would we be without those elements? You know, we oftentimes take things for granted that actually help us serve in our purpose it's like a swimmer nobody would know how important swimming is without the water it's like a firefighter being able to put out fires where would the fire be if we didn't have the water to put it out it's like having the the wind and being able to cleanse the air of pollution and all of these pollutants that we're dealing with in our communities and in our societies because of companies that choose to poison our people not only that But the sun that provides us with that vitamin D and other cultures can't even be in the sun without getting sunburned. Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it because y'all already know y'all heard me the first time. And then it's that element of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The The trilogy of knowing that there are so many things that align that you can't have one without the other. That's like a a woman with children getting married. You don't just marry the woman, you marry those kids too. And just like a, a, a woman marrying a man with kids, you don't just marry the man, you marry the kids too. That's a part of the element, that's a part of the package, that's being aligned. And see, sometimes we want one thing without the other. And our culture has become a lot more selfish than what it once was, cause it's me, myself, and I, it's what I want. But what about the desires and the design of what it is that you're actually out here fighting for? There's so much more for us to do. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. We're talking about staying aligned with the elements. You know, we oftentimes say me, myself, and I. And I've gotten to that place. But I know that 
what I'm looking for for me, myself, and I is to better the people that I'm serving. See, when you're looking to better you, in return of you bettering you, you end up bettering other people because that's the goal. That's like a coach being a, a coach of a team. You know that you can, you're can. you the bomb by yourself, but isn't it amazing how you can coach other people or become other leaders of other people and make them replicas of you and make them just as great as you are? But that's when you're not a selfish individual. When you're a selfish individual, me, myself, and I means you only worried about you. I take that phrase differently because I'm focused on me, myself, and I to make me, myself, and I better for you, for the people that I encounter, the people that I engage. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. We're talking about staying engaged with the elements. Now, in this season of staying aligned with the elements, so many people think, oh, I could do that job or I could do this. It's so easy. Um, just like our former president, uh, President Obama, and he made being the president look effortlessly until now that we have an individual who's had multiple impeachment inquiries and now they're taking it seriously, as you all should too. Because even though they're looking into things that they've already known, okay, I want you to be very clear. This is for the public. It's not for the people that are already in government. And like I told you before, I've been in politics since I was 14 years old, and I know what it's like behind the scenes, and I know what they do in front of the camera. That's why it's so important that I that I do media, that I give you guys information that you probably would not ever even know or understand as it relates to what you guys are watching. Because one thing's for sure, two things for certain, the media can paint a picture the way that they want to. And depending on how intelligent and in tuned you are, some people will take that information and run with it. It's like the young lady who lost her life at Clark Atlanta University. You know, I look at that situation and I think, wow, how out of whack and out of line these young people are. Now they're going to live a life that slammed them into a wall. And then here is a young lady who had a promising future who no, lo no longer is around to even pursue what it is that she was trying to do because people are out of whack and out of line. When you are somebody's friend, when you are someone's leader, when you are someone's uh, communication advisor, coach, pastor, uh, mother, father, you, you friend, you want the best for them. You're not jealous, you're not envious, you're not looking to hurt them or harm them or put them in harm's way. But see, when you are out of whack, when you are out of whack, when you're not in tune with yourself, when you're not in tune with, with God and what he can do for you, just like he can bless others, he can also bless you. And see, when you are a jealous individual and you suffer from, I don't know myself, it's easy to be jealous and envious of someone else. Now you're going to lose those promised days, those days of growth, behind bars, dealing with impeachment, dealing with um, so many trajectories that are negative because you didn't want to do right. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it, and before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. We're talking about staying in tune with the elements, my mind, my body, and my soul. Because when your mind is right, your mind will tell your body to do what's right, and it'll be okay with your soul. See, when you are out of whack and you're not in line, things are off. Your mind is off, but your body's still working. Your soul is off, but your mind and your body's still working. Y your body is banging, but your mind and your soul ain't right. And that's why it's so hard to develop strong relationships and and being okay with who you are because you're not aligned see when you're aligned you don't worry about another person another person's promise because you're you know that your promise is right around the corner you don't worry about another person's blessing or what it is that they're doing because you thinking okay well if 
God can do that for them, then I know he can do it for me. And I know I'm doing right or I know I'm doing this. But when you know that you're not aligned with what's going on, you can easily get knocked off your square on what somebody else is doing. And if you're tuned in, you're listening to Yah, I said it. I'm your girl, Jaja, And we're talking about staying aligned with the elements, mind, body, and soul. Because in order for you to be the best person that you are trying to be, becoming, working on, progressing to become, all of those things got to be in line. Because at the end of the day, we're living in a world where it's modern day slavery. And you say, how, Jaja? What is human trafficking? Human trafficking is kidnapping somebody from where they are and taking them somewhere else for the pleasure of money, making them do something against their will. Just imagine what was going through the minds of our ancestors as they were being kidnapped and captured out of their land. Their land brought across a ocean to an unfamiliar country to be a slave? I mean, I couldn't imagine it. Imagine a little girl walking home from school or walking to school being kidnapped, thinking you about to go turn in your homework and you're kidnapped to now performing sexual acts on grown men and women, because there's women out there that's just as nasty, and disgusting. Yeah, I said it and before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. Can you imagine what's going on with the mind? Can you imagine what's going on with the body? What's going on with that person's soul? Can you imagine you going to the grocery store and you coming out the grocery store getting ready to cook your kids some dinner and it's a van on the side of your vehicle trying to kidnap you? That's modern day slavery. That's what human trafficking is. And they're targeting people who are not paying attention. They're targeting people who got their heads down in their phone. They're targeting people who seem to be so busy. That's why it's so important to pay attention and stay in alignment in the season because people are anticipating that you're out Christmas shopping, you're out Thanksgiving shopping, you're not out paying attention. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yah said, and before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Listen, make sure you share these videos because we wanna protect each other and we want to make sure that each and every one of us is able to live our best life. I had a young lady that I just found out was killed. Um, and, and I want to send my condolences out to uh, Cabria Arnold and her family. She was one of my employees that I managed. And 20 years old, young lady. And you never know when your ending will be. You never know what the trajectory of your life and how it will unfold. And if you're not careful by taking care of your mind, your body, and your soul, you could forfeit the longevity of your life by not paying attention to what the spirit is telling you. See, there are some people that you're friends with, that you love, that you're connected to, that God been told you to let them go and you don't listen. And then you want to know why you didn't, you didn't got betrayed and you didn't got stabbed in the back and you didn't got a broken heart because you kept holding on to what somebody told you, the spirit told you to let go. How often do we not listen to that? And then we are mad and we want to blame the devil. and We want to blame God. No, you blame you. You blame yourself. You blame you, yourself, and you. <laughs> yeah, I said it before I take it back. I'm going to add more to it. If you're tuning in, we're talking about staying aligned. Because at the end of the day, I know this young lady had a bright future ahead of her. But because of envy and jealousy and bad decision making and not listening to our first mind, following our hearts. And see, our hearts are deceitful. It'll make you think you in love with somebody and you think they love you and they don't have no love for you. They use you, they manipulate you, and you thinking, but I love you, and I did this for you, and I did that for you, and you're like, dang, you would do this to me? Let me tell you something. There are people out here that are so selfish. They not thinking about you. They ain't thinking about your kids. They ain't thinking about the church you go to, the God you serve, what school you went to, what's your position at work. They don't care about none of that because a gun and a bullet has nobody's name on it, and if something pops off, you want to make sure that your spirit is right. That's why it's so important for you to get your soul right. That's why it's so important to do what's right amongst people. Do we make mistakes? I ain't always did everything right. I ain't always made the best decisions. I ain't always been around the best people. 
But see, I believe that progress and progress and not perfection. If you know in your heart that you are intentionally trying to do right, God has no other choice but to bless that. And see, it's so many of us that want to live in a perfect world and do things when things get perfect and, and do things when things get aligned. And you'll look around and you'll be laying on your deathbed hoping and praying and wishing that you could have did everything that you wanted to do. You know, I never forget when my mom was sick and she was sitting in the hospital before she passed. And um, she told me, she said, you know, Jaja, you, you are always going for your dreams. She said, you got these Kool-Aid pockets and these champagne dreams. And I told her, I said, my Kool-Aid dreams are going to catch up with my, she said, I got I got champagne dreams with Kool-Aid pockets. And I said, my champagne dreams are going to catch up with my Kool-Aid pockets, mom. You wait and see. She said, I know. I didn't name you Jaja for nothing. And so when you have that mindset that no matter what happens, what comes to play, what happens in your world and in your life, you're going to stay aligned with your purpose. You have no choice but to be successful. It may not come immediately. You know, sometimes we look at people as they are successful. And, um, you know, I often talk with successful people and they tell me how they've been doing this for 10 years, 17 years, 20 years, five years. And it took them this to this point. You know, a Tyler Perry didn't get to become a Tyler Perry. He was living in his car, writing plays, having people believe in him while he was doing what he was doing. Oprah didn't get to where she got to just off of a humbug. She had to go through molest, being molested by her stepfather and being shipped off to live with her grandmother. See, you don't know a lot of people's backstories. I was having a meeting with Cash Dow um, a couple of weeks ago, and we were sitting there talking about how our stories are similar, how she was stuck in, in a contract, and how, you know, she had so much music that she couldn't put out because of what was going on and the labels that people had put on her and all of the different things and challenges that she had to face. And just think about your story. Think about what you're going to tell people as you make it. All of the things that you've been through. People will never, ever believe in it. But if you stay focused and aligned by getting your mind right, getting your body right, getting your soul right, you'll be able to not forfeit those blessings. Because I'm sure... The young lady that I managed never thought in a million years that she would have been taking her last breath. I'm pretty sure when my mom was laying in a hospital bed, she never thought that this is the end. You know, people will get up every day with a whole slew of plans on what they plan on doing and not come back home. And that's serious. And I know, you know, uh, we're always looking for uh, things that make us feel good, things that make a, that sound good. But sometimes we have to understand that this life is a, not a dress rehearsal. This is real. This is not a preview to the movie. This is the movie. And if you're not careful, you'll end up with a bootleg copy and not the premier copy of your life that you really deserve. Because you have to understand that when we're chasing the wrong things, we'll pass up on the right things. When we're chasing the wrong people, we'll miss out on the right people that's supposed to be in our lives. You know, I I, um, I was in a relationship with this guy and uh, man, felt good, but I knew it wasn't right. And sometimes we will allow our mind and our hearts not to align. They'll be fighting. Your heart will be saying, but I love him. He gonna change. I love her. She gonna change. But your mind is saying, get out of it now. Leave now. Don't look back. And we'll be like, no, nah, I'm gonna just give him another chance. Or, you know, they was going through something at the moment. And then you think, how in the world did I end up in this situation? I mean, here I am dating this guy. And all in a while, he got a whole family at home with seven kids. You need to be at home with your family, not chasing behind me. And as a consequence of that, I got my tires stolen. As a consequence of that, I had somebody break in my house. As a consequence of that, I had to deal with uh, 
uh, the woman calling my phone, threatening me, all because, all because, chasing after the wrong thing, knowing knowing that I'm supposed to be going after the right thing. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. Listen, make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. Listen, guys, this show is brought to you by PBA Royal. Listen, if you have children that need to sign up for dance class, modeling, acting, pageantry, music, or media, make sure you sign up for PBA Royal Performing Arts and Training School. It's right in Detroit. And if you need more information, dial 248-909-7167. Listen, again, if you have children, y'all know y'all got kids that need to be in somebody's on somebody's commercial and training art school they have dance model acting pageantry music and media and if you want to get your kids signed up it's 248-909-7167 and also if you see some people out there with these petitions for the wayne county kids win listen make sure you sign it we have about 47,000 signatures and we need 63,000 to get on that ballot for uh, March 2020. That's going to allow nonprofits, municipalities, churches, faith-based communities to get grants and funding to help with some of these after-school programs so that we can get these kids off these phones, get them back socially engaged, get them to have some safe places for them to go after school. I had a, um, an opportunity to grow up where we had a lot of after-school programs and we need it. We need it in the inner city and we need it within our community. We need it in other cities that are in Wayne County and you need to support this initiative. You'll hear more about it. I have more speaking opportunities. Uh, thank God. Uh, being a part of the United Way to speak on um, the Wayne County Kids Win uh, initiative. So make sure if you see those petitions out, make sure you sign it because we, we need that money. Not only that, but some more community news that you can use. And we're still talking about staying the line and you're still tuned in to Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, you already know I'm going to add more to it. Um, Cash Dow and Icewear Vezo have partnered to uh, give back to the community. And if you are looking to volunteer uh, with this initiative on November 24th, let me know. Slide in my DMs with your name and your number, and I will put you on the list. They're looking for at least 300 volunteers for this event. And um, I'm one of the lead volunteers for this initiative. So if you want to come hang out with Cash Dow and Icewear Vezo as we give back to the community, make sure you slide in my DMs. Make sure you check me out and um, give me your name and number so that way we can sign up and give back to the people in the community. Not only that, but if you are looking to get your taxes done this tax season, make sure you um, sign in for TNT Taxes um, in Southfield, Michigan. It is one of the companies that I'll be working for this tax season where we can get you the max tax, okay? That is TNT Taxes. And if you're looking to get the max for your taxes, make sure that you sign up. Check me out, slide in my DMs and say, hey, Ja, I want the max this season. Can you hook me up? I got you. But anyway, we're talking about staying aligned and I'm your girl, Ja Ja. And you're listening to Yeah, I Said It. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But I was talking about being in alignment. When you're in alignment, it's like a beautician looking back at a hairstyle that they've created when a woman or a man comes in with a jacked up haircut or a jacked up hairdo. Being aligned is like an athlete or a coach or a sports uh, director seeing the championship and then getting it. Being aligned is like being a singer grabbing the mic and tearing the house down. Being aligned is is having a voice knowing that you're a leader and being able to lead a community. Being aligned is like a doctor going to school to be a doctor and turning around and seeing your patient health turn around miraculously. Being aligned is like an artist or a music um, person hearing their music or seeing their art for the first time when you are aligned with who you are mind body and soul there's a passion in your purpose every time I go live every time I host an event every time I speak at, at an event I do it as if it's my first time because that's how much I'm passionate about what it is that I do but when you have acid there's no passion in it because it'll show it'll show that you you halfway doing stuff, you halfway here, you halfway there, and nobody takes you serious. But the minute that you put in 100% effort, I had a friend tell me, Jaja, 
as great as you are and all the things that you want to do in life, I need you to focus on this one thing. And when I really said, you know what, I'm going to zero in all my energy into this one thing, things started happening. Positions started being made. Pro propositions started being presented because I started becoming more aligned with my purpose. And when you start being aligned with your mind, body, soul, listen, there is nothing that you cannot accomplish because there's fulfillment in your purpose. And you say, well, Jaja, how do I know? what my purpose is try stuff i said this before in one of my shows you won't know your purpose until you know what makes you joyous what makes you wake up in the morning if that's cooking that's your passion if it's speaking to to young people about the mistakes you've made and you don't want to make have the kids in your community make that mistake anymore that's your passion if if it's doing hair that's your passion if it's doing taxes and, and getting people to max for their tax that's your passion if your passion is styling people to the t and helping them go from bummy to to stylish that's your passion if it's from taking the inner city youth and and turning them to uh inner city champions that's your passion but whatever it is it's gonna give you fulfillment i can't wait to do my show on Thursday. I can't wait to talk to you all. And I can't wait to go to events and speak and host. And you know, it's it's a it's like an aphrodisiac. And it, it just makes me feel like I'm on a on a high. I forget about all of my problems, anything that I'm stressing about, because I'm happy and I'm joyous in what I'm doing. It brings me satisfaction knowing that I'm putting a smile on your face. I'm allowing you to see things that you wouldn't normally see on a day-to-day on a -day basis. I'm engaging with you. I'm creating a network with you. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It, and before I take it back, you already know I'm going to add more to it. We're talking about being aligned, mind, body, and soul. Because when you're aligned with the elements, there's nothing that nobody can tell you about you. You know, I used to. there used to be a time where... I used to get offended, you know, by negative things that people would say to me and about me. And I used to feel like, dang, how, why they coming for me? Ain't nothing in this cup but water. But um, I had to get my blue cup to match my blue outfit. Y'all see? Y'all see why I did that? But I used to get upset and offended when people would say ne certain negative things to me and about me. And I used to feel some type of way, like, dang, like, for real? That's, that's how you feel? But one thing's for sure, two things for certain, is that negatives will always bring out positives. They'll always bring out positive results, whether they're internal or external. It's like, you know, uh, uh, a domestic relationship. No, it's not a great thing to be in, but for most women and men that come out of it, you come out stronger. It's like a person being overweight. Yeah, you've had some health challenges, yeah, you've had some struggles and dealt with weight going up and down. But when you really kind of get solid in that thing, you're confident in what you look like. It's like a person um, not being able to read. And then once they, they get to that point where they understand how important literacy is and they really put their all into reading, it's a different result. Negativity always brings out positive results. Always. Whether they're external or internal. You know, when I first started, yeah, I said it, I had... um somebody tell me like you be on there and you be cussing too much and I took it as who are you this is my show don't tell me <laughs> yeah I said it okay it's me it's my show but then I thought about it and I said a person that's giving me this kind of advice only sees how great this can be and I came down off my high horse and I said well maybe I do need to scale back on my my language and um my views went up more people were inclined to watch. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it, and before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. We're talking about staying aligned with the elements of mind, body, and soul. And, you know, I had um, somebody tell me like, you got some great information, but you need to change your phones. Like your phones ain't, they not popping. You need some up-to-date phones. And I don't, you know, I got offended. Like that's all I can afford, you know? <laughs> and then I understood the quality that they were saying that I needed in order to perfect what it is that I'm doing. Sometimes we look at things in a negative light, but they're to help 
and a positive notion to get you on track. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I said it and before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. We're talking about staying aligned with your elements of mind, body, and soul. Because, you know, Will Smith said something. He said, you know, find people who fan your flame. And I wanna add, if they don't fan your flame, you need to kick them you need to kick them out. You don't want people kicking dirt on your flame because they want to put you out. See, I'm a big believer in don't my shine, don't stop. Listen, you may be a nightlight, I'm a spotlight, okay? Don't worry about what I got going on. Get your watts up. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I said it before I take it back. I'm going to add more to it because, you know, I remember being a little kid and we used to see this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Y'all know, y'all used to go to Sunday school and church before y'all became heathens. Yeah, I said it before I take it back. I'm going to add more to it. But I understand, you know, church ain't always been, ain't the same like it used to be. But that's nor here nor there. Um... But when you let your light so shine before men that they see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven, you don't worry about who trying to stunt and block you. Because at the end of the day, even the clouds can't stop the sun from shining. A cloud can cover up the sun all day, but it doesn't mean that the sun ain't there. And it doesn't mean that the sun going to stop shining just because a cloud is in front of it. And it's just like you. You keep shining on what it is that you're doing until they have no choice but to respect what it is that you're doing. People call me now and they, they want to book me when these were the same people that overlooked me. <laughs> yeah, I said it and before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. But I had to keep going. I had to keep doing what I'm doing. It's like it's, it's like a person who's looking to get a championship. You may not get it this go round, but you keep working at it. You keep studying. You keep going for it. You know, right now, Colin Kaepernick is looking to to get back in in a, in a game, in the in a NFL game. And they're looking. The Detroit Lions is, is looking at him. And a few other teams are looking at him, too. But what if Colin Kaepernick gave up? What if he said, you know what? I did what I needed to do. But his love for football it, it's not going to let him stop. It's not going to let him stop running and reaching for the game and the love of football that he so desperately loves. But he knew that there was a change that needed to be made. And if you're tuning in, I'm your girl, Jaja. You're listening to Ya yeah, Said It. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. We're talking about staying in line with the mind, body, and soul. And see, at the end of the day, a conscious mind cannot be ignored. You know, we live in a world where people doing what they want to do, saying what they want to say, being who they want to be. They want to go from a man to a woman, from a woman to a man. Today they like girls. Tomorrow they like boys. Some people don't know what they want to do. And I ain't here to judge because I ain't got a heaven to hell to put you in. But we're living in a time where the conscious mind cannot be ignored. I don't care who you are. You know when you've done wrong. You know when you've said something wrong, when you've offended someone. You know when you've traded on someone. You know when you haven't been there for somebody like you were supposed to. You you know the conscious mind, the conscious mind does not allow us to to just ignore certain things. It just doesn't. It just it just doesn't. And you can you can think for a moment, oh, you know, this just didn't affect them as much or, you know, oh, we can get over it. And, and the thing about it is, is that the conscious mind, you can pretend all day long. That's why people drink and smoke and do lean because they don't want to listen to their mind. They want to ignore it. A lot of our decisions, a lot of our poor decisions have been made because we didn't listen to our conscious mind. And it's so unfortunate because a lot of us could be a lot further than where we are. It doesn't mean that we cannot get there and God is not a redeemer of time because he can give you uh, more years on your life than you can give yourself. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it, I'm your girl, Jaja. And before I take it back, you already know I'm ammo to it. But at the end of the day, the conscious mind cannot be ignored. That's why when people do you wrong, say stuff about you, they, 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 they want to turn into the victim. You know, they want to turn into, oh, but they did me this way. Nah, boo. But if we're going to tell the story, let's tell the whole story. Let's talk about the beginning, the middle, and the end. Don't just give them the end. Give them the, the beginning and the middle. See, a lot of people like to skip out on parts because it makes them feel empowered and, and a victim in some sort of way. That's why 
yeah, I said it, and before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I'm telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. And I don't care if you like it or don't like it. I've had challenges with family members, friends, and I'm going to tell you what it was, what it is, what I did, what they did, because it's parts of this that's missing. And you can't be mad about that. See, some people don't want to tell the truth because they're not aligned in spirit. See, because my mind, my body, and my soul is aligned, I can speak freely knowing that my intentions are pure. I can be in a room with the greatest of the great and the lowest of the low and still be okay with who I am because I'm in tuned. But when you're not in tuned with who you are, you feel intimidated. See, that's why, you know, so many women have challenges with being around other women because they're not aligned with who they are. I sit before other women and they'll look at my skin and or the, you know they'll examine my face and they'll be like, oh my God, like you look so pretty. You look just like your pictures. You don't, you don't look like a filter. Why? Why do I need a filter? I look like this in real life. Like I don't, I don't, I mean, for those who use filters, good for you, but I celebrate other people, whether you beautiful, uh, unattractive, working on it, you need cosmetics, working on for some cosmetics either way it go i celebrate you and see when you learn to celebrate other people you not envious of what nobody else is doing when you can collaborate with pure intentions you don't mind because you know that your heart is pure at the end of the day people that don't have a pure heart or pure intentions when they soul ain't right they'll do certain things that'll make you feel uneasy. See, I, I listen to my soul, my spirit, my intuition, my Holy Ghost when it comes to people, places, and things. Because one thing's for sure, two things for certain. I'm not trying to get caught get caught up slipping because I'm not paying attention to what my spirit man is telling me. There are days where I've been invited to places and my spirit man will say, don't go, don't go. And I say, but why? I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be at this place. And my spirit man will say, nah, something will happen. I'll get a call or somebody will tell me, you know, I need you here at this place or that place. And I'll get, I'll get, you know, put in a position where I say, no, nah, I don't need to be here. And that's because I'm in tuned and I'm aligned. And when you are aligned at what it is that you're doing, you have a better outcome at life. But when you ignore and you just living day by day and YOLO, don't get me wrong. I'm all about you only live once. I'm all about it. But you also have to be mindful that you only live once. Don't be so confused that um, you don't understand the, the power of your life. You know, I, um, I, I was in line at the gas station and uh, somebody that was standing there before me, they had a pop. A sprite pop in a little receptacle at the store and um, the guy came up behind me he like oh you about to drink you some lean and I said sir I'm not about to drink no lean what's going on Dean what's, what's happening listen um, and I said ain't nobody over here drinking no no lean but that's the society that we live in where people will assume you can't have a beverage without adding some medicine to it I'm not trying to be walking around here with no codeine, hydrocortisone, or none of that. That's not meant for that. It's meant for what it's meant for. And see, some of us taking things out of content that shouldn't be taken out of context. And then you wonder why you're getting the results that you're getting. And see, I was so tickled by it. I turned around. I said, I said, you look too dope to be drinking some lean. That's for crackheads. Are you a crackhead? Yeah, I said it, and before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. Because when you're aligned, you care about your body. You care about what you put in your body. I remember there was a time where I would be smoking black and miles, and cherry heel, black and mild, you know, because you're stressing. Your, your, body, your body is stressed, your mind is stressed, and you out here smoking and drinking and, and snorting and, and having illicit sex and, and doing this and doing that. And it's all because your mind is under stress. And see, the body only does what the mind tells it. If the mind says you want a cigarette, guess what the body gonna go do? The body gonna go get a cigarette. The mind say, I wanna go get me a baller shot caller. Guess what, guess what the body gonna be looking for? A baller shot caller. 
the mind say, I want to lose weight, guess what's going to happen? Your body going to follow behind what your mind say. If your mind say, you know what, I want to be an artist, guess what your body going to do? Your body going to say, let's go be an artist. If your mind say, I want to be a homeowner, guess what? The body going to do the work to be the homeowner. See, at the end of the day, the mind, the body is only going to do what the mind tells it. When I get up in the morning and I'm not feeling my best, I have to have a whole pep talk in third person. All right, Jaja, today ain't the day to give up. All right, Jaja, I know you, you swamp with this and you swamp with that, but you're going to have to focus on the bigger picture. Do you want it or not? And then Jaja has to respond and say, okay, you do want this, so get out here and get it. Because the, the body is only going to do what the mind tells it. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It, and before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. We're talking about staying aligned because... At the end of the day, it is important to take care of the body that you have. There is going to come a time where your body is going to be in an urn, is going to be in a coffin, is going to be in the ground. And who who wants who wants to deal with somebody that didn't take care of their body? In order for you to take care of your body, you got to take care of your mind. That's why quiet time is so necessary. We live in a world that's so chaotic, social media, everything is popping. We going, we get up, we go. We, we, we just going, going, going and going until it's the only time that we have that's quiet is when we're going to sleep. And then you wonder why you having some of the dreams that you have because that's the only time that God can speak to you is when you in a coma and when you sleep. Or he got to have something happen to quiet you down so that you can hear him, so that you can hear what, what your spirit is telling you. That's why quiet time is important. That's why prayer time is important. You ain't got to go into a whole shama nama 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 shama nama nama prayer. You can go into a real quick prayer. Uh, Jesus, I need you. God, I need you. Uh, Jehovah, I need you. Whoever you believe in, I need you. Um, I need help. I thank you for today. You know, those little, those little prayers, they count. That, that intimate relationship, that prayer between your communication, that's, that's prayer. Prayer is the communication between you and who you need to be praying to. Hopefully it's God. I don't know who you're praying to, but at the end of the day, I'm praying that you're praying to God. Yeah, I said it, and before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. It's important to have quiet time. It's important to have prayer. It's important to have meditation because your mind, it goes, it goes. You be you be starting to think uh, all kind of crazy stuff, and I know how my mind thinks. I, I'm an overthinker, and because I'm an overthinker, I think about multiple strategies of how I'm gonna do things before I go ahead and do it. And I'm working on it, y'all. I'm I'm working on it. But it's important to have quiet time. It's important to have prayer. It's important to have meditation, yoga. Listen, let me tell you something. I didn't realize how important yoga was shout out to crowns on movement my home girl rachel newsom um it's important to have that yoga you some of y'all don't stretch when the last time you really sat on the floor stretch out your toes stretched out your arms you know when was the last time you know you you, you touched your toes and i ain't talking about in the bedroom either I, yeah i said it and before i take it back i'm gonna add more to it when was the last time that you stretched did a good old-fashioned elementary school in the gym stretch. Some of y'all ain't stretched. You stretch, reach your arm to the remote. That's probably as much stretching as you gonna do. Then you wanna know why you're achy and you're tight and you, you, you got all the stress on your back because you haven't determined where your stress lies. And see, when you're exercising and you're doing yoga and you're doing and you're fasting it gives your body an opportunity not only to rest but it allows your body to realign in the spirit because see some of us look beautiful on the outside but internal you all jacked up kidneys messed up liver messed up can barely breathe or you just got an ugly spirit just because you look nice on the outside don't mean that people don't see or sense your spirit. That's why kids don't like certain people because they sense your spirit. You may look beautiful, gorgeous, but, but people pick up on spirits and that is real. 
You hear me what I say? Yeah, I said it before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. Listen, make sure you share this video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know Jaja on YouTube. Listen, make sure that you stay aligned with your spirit, man. Make sure that you stay aligned with your mind because the enemy will come and try to take your mind with depression, with frustration, with anger, you know, with retaliation. It'll have you, your mind will be all messed up and you can't focus on your goals because your mind is on something else. Like right now, I had some, some financial challenges and I couldn't even focus on studying for my due diligence classes and my tax class because I'm so focused on trying to get out of this situation that I couldn't focus on that situation. And that situation is a lot more important. They both are equivalently important. But if I focus on this, this has the propensity to change my life and I don't have to worry about what's stealing my thoughts in my mind because again the body only does what the mind tells it and see a lot of people think because you put on makeup or you put on a facade that that covers up your stress stress shows it strong it shows in your attitude it shows in how you deal with people it shows in how you do business it shows in how you you deal with your family members it shows in how you deal with your kids i had to check myself because i know when i'm stressing i don't want to snap on my son he didn't do nothing to me some of y'all yelling at your kids because you stressed out for situations that you put yourself in or situations that other put other people put you in have you ever thought about your kids could be stressed too have you ever thought about, you know, your kids are sensing some of the stress that you have on you as well? We don't think about it because, you know, we thinking they kids, they don't, you know, my son, he tells me all the time, you know, mom stressed out. You know, I tell him, you know, come lay down, you know, don't go to practice today. You know, sometimes they need that break. Sometimes our kids need to be told it's going to be okay. You know, I, I pray over my son every single day. I go in his room while he sleep and go pray because I don't know what he has to face and what he has to deal with walking through those halls and dealing with those teachers. Some of them teachers is racist, have racist practices. Some of them teachers don't love these kids like they used to. You know, we used to have educators, and, and, and we still do. We still have a lot of great educators, and I'm, I'm so appreciative. Um, that my son goes to the school that he that he goes to. Um, and matter of fact, shout out to Cast Tech. Make sure that y'all come out and support um, the music, a Cast Tech fundraiser. It'll be November 15th um, from 6 to 8.30. Uh, live performances by Evron um, from um, the news, the news anchor Evron. He has a new um, uh, album CD coming out as well as the cast tech students and the music and it's going to be in the grand theater It's going to be super dope. I'll be there uh, Make sure you come and check out some of these kids if you have kids family members that are at cast tech Get your lazy behind up and go pay $20. You'll go pay $20 in the club and speaking of club, I'll be hosting again at Mixed Bricktown this Friday. Y'all know, come turn up with your girl. Uh, Mixed Bricktown is right downtown, and I will be hosting. It's free to get in. Just come and look cute and come hang out with your girl. That's this Friday at Mixed Bricktown. I'll be there and um, support our Cast Tech students for their, uh, their fundraiser and their musical and um, event on Friday at the school from 6 to 8.30. And after you go there, then come on over to Mixed Bricktown to come hang out with me um but it's important that you stay aligned with your mind body and soul and if you're tuning in you're listening to yeah i said it and before i take it back i'm gonna add more to it because our minds are always at war they're always in a constant battle the war starts up here in your mind our, our minds have uh, a tendency to deceive us and if you're not careful with protecting your mind your mind will start running after different thoughts you know you'll start talking to yourself in your mind you don't have to verbally say it what you say in your mind is just important as what you spew out your mouth how you think about yourself is just as important as what other people think of you when i started thinking i was the sugar honey iced tea there is nothing that nobody could tell me to tell me that i wasn't there's a difference between being confident and conceited being conceited says I got it going on due to me. Being confident says that I know that this beauty is gonna fade, 
but I know that I look good at this present moment and I take care of myself and I'm not worried about another person's opinion because my lifestyle is not predicated upon the opinions of others. Yeah, I said it and before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. See, it's the difference between being confident and being conceited. Being conceited says, Tuh, who is you? You ain't nobody, I'm better than you. Being confident says, I can stand in a room amongst other individuals that are just as good looking and intelligent as I am and still know who I am and not be persuaded by anybody else. That's confidence. But see, there's a lot of people out here that are conceited and they don't have a pot to piss in. Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. And I don't got no blue juice in this cup. It's just water. Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it because y'all know y'all like to speculate and make up rumors. But I, let me chop you off at the knee. Let me go ahead and pluck that seed before you get it out. Get that illusion out your mind. But at the end of the day, we can't get mad at the successes of others. We have to learn to do the work. You know, I often tell people, you know, I'm focused on my own lane. I ain't thinking about what nobody's doing to the left of me, the right of me, behind me, in front of me. I'm focused on my goals. Now, either you can help and get on Team Jotty and help what I'm doing, or you can watch from the sidelines. But either way it go, it's going to get done. Because at the end of the day, when you have self-esteem, self-esteem, that means esteem in yourself okay if you're tuning in you're listening to yeah i said it we're talking about staying aligned with mind body and soul when you are when you are aligned in who you are you have a self-confidence and self-esteem that exudes it ex my self-esteem is exuding right through you right now while y'all watching me wherever y'all at and people that know me know that i'm like this not just for yeah i said it this is how i am been my whole life okay um but when you have self-esteem, there is a, a lane and a life that you live because you know that your first opinion that matters is your own. When you know about you and you are a, has high self-esteem, people treat you differently. And it could be in a good or bad way. See, some people don't like you to have high self-esteem because they're able to manipulate you when you have low self-esteem. See, when, when, when women have low self-esteem, a man can see it a mile away. He'll be like, oh yeah, she, she, gonna, she gonna need me. She gonna want me. She gonna be on my jock. She ain't, you know, she ain't never had no man like this. Cause he can tell what, you could be a dressed up beauty queen and he can tell that you have low self-esteem. Same thing with kids. You can tell what kids are confident and have high self-esteem and what kids have low self-esteem and they may be getting cussed out at home and told they ugly or they fat or they stupid or they dumb. You know, y'all remember the movie Precious? Y'all, I, you know what Monique said, Nikki Parker? Ain't nobody gonna want you. Ain't nobody gonna like you. Each one teach one. <laughs> Yeah, I said it before I take it back up and add more to it. I'm trying to tell you, listen, it's some parents out there just like Precious Mama, okay? Because they're jealous, they're envious, you know, it's, it's like, you know, I remember my mom, my mom, she used to tell all of us, like, I have some beautiful daughters and some handsome sons, and my brother, my brother Kenneth, big boy, he was, he was big. And, you know, he had really low self-esteem, you know, and, and his peers didn't make it no better. That's why you got to be careful who you align yourself with, who you call friends, who you call your partner, who you call your homeboy, your homegirl. See, everybody, see, when you got people who fan your flame, they going to be like, girl, you looking good today. Look, I like that haircut. Oh, my God, I like that tie. Oh, I'm digging them shoes. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you got people that's going to fan your flame, it ain't about being on nobody jock. Y'all need to get out of that. Your mindset is all messed up. That's why you're not in a line. And that's why you're going to stay right where you at, doing right what you're doing, while other people are doing what they're doing and moving on in life. Because you got to get that hate out your spirit. And when you have self-esteem, high self-esteem, it exudes. There are people that are going to attract to you because you have high self-esteem. And then there are going to be people that don't like you because you have high self-esteem. It's going to be people that don't like you because you got low self-esteem. And then there's going to be people that love you because you have low self-esteem. It makes them feel better. Have you ever met somebody 
that likes to hang around all ugly people because it make them look better than all of them. I want all bad baddies around me. I want all fine women around me because listen, what you got don't stop me from what I got. Don't stop my intellect. Don't stop my don't stop my pesos or my bag. If anything, it should increase. So you gotta be careful of people who like to keep you at a low level so that they can remain high. I I um I'm always shocked. God shocks me all the time because I often think my blessing or my hookup or my help or you know being put on is gonna be through these people. And then gotta be like, nah, boo. I got somebody better in the woodwork. And then you'll have this person that you never thought that would bless you, open up a door for you, support you, help you. And you'll be looking at the other people like, you know me all my life. And I got to beg for you to help me. You know what I'm trying to do. You mean to tell me you're going to watch me struggle and not and not throw me a lifeguard, a, a SOS, a, a, a lifeline, a, nothing? Nothing. And then here it is, somebody comes swimming on the side of you. <laughs> like, hey girl, looks like you need some help. It's like, have you ever had a flat tire or a car won't start or have some car, car trouble? And all these men, they done drove past you. Drove past you, drove past you. Or, you know, all these people, they done drove past you, drove past you. And you thinking like, and then here come this car. Hey, you look like you need some help. <laughs> yeah, I said it before I take it back. I'm going to add more to it. You be looking like, now where did you come from? And, and then the funny thing is they'll have all the tools you need. They'll have the jack, the the little thing to wind you up. They had the little other, the lug knot thing. They have everything you need. You know, and sometimes it may not come when you want them, but he always on time. Yeah, I said it, and before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. Listen, make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube. You know Jaja, make sure that you share my videos. Y'all gotta share my videos, don't be no hater now. Mm, I can tell who share my videos and who don't, but if you're tuning in, we're talking about staying aligned with mind, body, and soul. When you're staying aligned in your mind, because your mind is a constant battle. Every day you wake up to decide whether or not you want to be happy, sad, depressed. You know, there were times where um, I allowed my mind to stay in a depression, a depressed state. And it's like that thing that just clicks, you know? Have you ever just woke up one day or just decided, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm tired of this. You know what? I'm going to lose this weight. You know what? I'm going to go back to school. You know what? I'm going to stop smoking these cigarettes. You know what? I'm going to leave that fool alone. He don't mean me no good. You know what? I think it's time for this relationship with this young lady to end. It ain't working out for us. You know, you just wake up and your mind says, you ready now? And then again, your body follows. You know, I had to get back my mindset, get my mind back right because I had to think about what did my mind say to me today? And I ask you the same question. What is your mind telling you? Is your mind telling you you're not going to make it? you worthless. worthless. It's never going to happen for you. Or is your mind telling you, come on, try it one more time. Come on, you can do this. Come on, you know that relationship wasn't no good for you, but I got something better. What is your mind telling you today? Is your mind telling you, hey, we're going to win this championship? Hey, you know what? Even if we don't win, we're going to try to get as close to it as we can. Hey, my mind is telling me, you know what? I tried to lose weight before. It didn't work out. I gained more weight than I lost. But you know what? I'm going to try one more time. And I'm going to take it pound for pound. When I was 252 pounds wearing a size 16, all I could think about was, I can't wait to get into that body that I know I'm supposed to have. Now look at this body. I ain't being braggadocious. I'm just saying. you. For those that knew me when I was a big girl, size 16, you know, some of y'all was happy because y'all bodies were snatched. But now, it's my turn. It's my turn for my body to be snatched. <laughs> yeah, I sat it in before I take it back. I'm going to add more to it. Because at the end of the day, your mind only follows 
your body only follows what your mind does. Because I remember when I was um, going through my tumultuous marriage to that sucker. Yeah, I said it before I take it back. I'm going to add more to it. My mind started to drift off. My mind, my mind started to drift off. And that's how, you know, people can have affairs and, 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 and have church hurt. I remember having a work husband. Uh, I'm getting some of y'all Kool-Aid because that's how affairs start. Affairs start in the mind. You don't cheat. Your, your penis don't just end up in somebody's mouth. Your vagina doesn't just end up on somebody's mattress. It, your mind has to think about it first and then the body follows. But I remember having a work husband and I remember having um, a guy that I worked with that went to church with me. I got him a job working with me and I used to confide in him and confide in my work husband. And, you know, I noticed that, you know, when you have those, those thoughts, they turn into those actions. And I had to check myself with my work husband. Like, nah, girl, that's not the way you want to go. You want to, if you're going to end this marriage, end it with integrity. So that way, can't nobody say you was the cheater. You know what I mean? So I had to put that one in his place. And then here I am confiding in somebody that I got a job. Uh, I called my bishop to see if anybody needed a job at work. And here it is, I'm confiding in this person who's supposed to be a man of God and and and, and taking my, my words and spewing them and, and just being messy, you know? And, and oftentimes, you know, we have these opportunities and you think, man, you think, how this person gonna do me like this? And that's how people deal with church hurt. But I'm here to tell you, that I stopped going to church for people. I started going for me. And when you stop going and hear the music and see who's shouting and who dancing and what they got on, you'll get a whole different revelation when, when a person is up speaking. You'll get a whole different revelation. You'll get a whole different revelation when you have somebody that is um, looking to speak to your spirit, your mind, and, and your body. You have a whole different revelation. And not only that, but you want to you wanna make sure that your soul is not at stake. You want to make sure that, you know, when you do leave this earth, I mean, I pray to God there's a heaven, and I'm going, because ain't nobody trying to be in hell. Hell is hot, and I'm straight. I'm already hot enough, okay? I'm pretty hot and tempting. But you want to make sure that you take care of your mind and your body so that your soul has somewhere to go. Because, you know, some of you, some people love drama and people love to gravitate to drama and mess because it deflects off of their drama. It deflects off of, of how, how they're out of whack, how they're unaligned. See, people that create drama and people that love drama and people that love being in a lot of mess, it deflects off of them. It deflects what they doing, what they going through, who they doing, who they dealing with, the wrong they've done. See, when people like to keep up mess and keep up drama, that's why I stay away from messy people. It ain't that I think I'm better than you. I just know you messy. I just know that you don't mean me no good. And if I hook up with you, then I'm going to end up not being no good because birds of a feather flock together. And I'm kind of like a solo bird. You feel me? I kinda, I'm kind of i an eagle. I, I fly solo unless I'm linking up with other eagles because eagles soar to the highest of the high and they at high altitude. I'm not trying to hang out with no pigeons. You feel me? Um, so if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I want you to be mindful of what your mind is saying to you today. I want you to be mindful of what your mind is telling you to do. If your mind is telling you to go be great, guess what? Your body has no other choice but to be in commandment with what your mind is telling you. And if you are looking to be all that you can be, like I talked about last uh, last week, make sure you, if you didn't check out last week's episode, make sure you check it out. I talked about being all you can be. And today I talked about being in aligned with your mind, body, and soul. But when you are in alignment, you have to be careful of what you watch, what you read, what you see, what you hear, and what you say. Yeah, I said it, and before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I hope you all have a wonderful and phenomenal week. Make sure that you check out uh, TNT Taxes. Make sure you get your max for your tax. Sign up right now because you know y'all know y'all need y'all taxes done, and we get you the max for your tax. That's out located in Southfield. If you want to find out more information, slide in my DMs. I can get you the information, TNT Taxes. And then make sure you check out the Nuzik um, event that's going to be this Friday for all you Cast Tech alumni, Cast 
Tech Students, Cast Tech Parents and Family. Um, Evron is going to be there performing as well as the Performing Arts School. Um, if you want or have kids, make sure that they sign up for PBA Royal Performing Arts Training School for dance class, modeling, acting, pageantry, music, and media. Listen, we got to put our kids on the map because Detroit got talent, okay? We Motown, y'all. If you want to sign up for that, um, dial 248-909-7167 to sign up for that. Um, if you see people out there with the petitions to sign for the Wayne County Kids Win Initiative, make sure you sign it. We need 63,000 signatures so that we can be on the ballot for March uh, 2020 election, as well as if you're looking to volunteer this season, um, I have partnered with Cash Dow and Ice wear bezel and we are looking for 300 volunteers to give out um, some food turkeys on november 24th and if you're looking to uh to partner with some detroit artists and 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 be a part of this detroit swag that we got going um slide in my dms because we're looking for partnerships now don't come trying to clout chase we looking to volunteer okay yeah i said it before i take it back i'm gonna add more to it um if you want to help you want to volunteer I, i'm um, looking to gather volunteers we need 300 volunteers. I'm one of them. I'm one of the lead volunteers. And let's make it happen for some people that are in need. Listen, I love y'all. Make sure that you are keeping your mind, body, and soul aligned. And until next week, i see y'all later. Make sure y'all check me out this Friday at Mixed Brick Town. Come hang out with me. It's free. Uh, bring your friends. Bring your partner. We're going to two-step. Two-step. And y'all already know before I take it back, yeah, I said it, and I'm going to add more to it. Peace.